Today, we get to meet Thierry Edwards. He's a five-time award-winning master barber, host of the Cut Game podcast. He's the owner of Groom City Studios and has been a professional barber since he was 19 years old. I got to meet T on one of my sets when he came into the trailer to cut a producer's hair, and let's just say the rest was history. Let's talk. And this is... No, 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 hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, can we start over? Of course. What's going on, everybody? This is T.R. Edwards. I'm a barber in Local 706, and you with Makeup Trailer Talk with JQ. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, everybody. This is T.R. And I like to right. call him T. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. How everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing all well. Thank you so much for being here. I have been super stoked about talking to you for this show because you do something in your craft um, that I really, really love and nerd out on, but don't get to do myself, which is you're a barber. Yeah. Um, and more than, more so than that, you're a master barber, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. It's, it's something I fell in love with for over 20 years now professionally but I fell in love with it before I became a profession, so. there. So for those who don't know, but for the majority of the audience, they'll know that, you know, hair and makeup are, are separate on set. We yeah. can be a part of the same union, but we don't do each other's jobs. But there's this really beautiful negative space in our world, and that's the barber. And I like yeah. to think of the barber as a specialty tool, but also a tool you should never not, or never be without. And so I thought, man, I wonder, I know how I saw T when he came on to set, but I wonder if he realizes how people see him. Do you ever think about how you're perceived in the makeup trailer when it comes to your role? I definitely think about that um, as far as in the trailer and outside of the trailer, uh, just how people perceive you, because a lot of times it's hard to see intentions. That makes it difficult because, like, my intentions is really to uh, – to learn my intentions is really to just be part of the team and really just to like share different experiences. And I, I just see amazing gifts in everyone, you know, and I just, I just like, that intrigues me. You know, I'm a fan of people. So, so like, that's probably why you see me sitting there, maybe quiet, just because I'm sitting there just being a fan of each individual artist. But even outside of the trailer, I'm just a fan of people. What is it about the people you're surrounded by at work, especially when filming, that pulls your attention to a certain artist? You know what, it's a, it's culture in general. You know, I noticed that it's a culture and everything, not, not even regarding race, just it's a culture of film and television. It's a culture inside the hair and makeup trailer. It's a culture amongst the makeup artists. It's a culture amongst cosmetologists and it's a culture amongst barbers. So. I like to familiarize myself with different cultures. You know, I like to just, I don't know, just, just learn. I feel like you can learn so much from those different cultures. And, and when you're amongst a team, whether people know it or not, they're bringing their culture with them. A right. lot of time, you know? And me being a barber, it feels like that culture is not the dominant culture in a makeup trailer or on film and television. So, um, I have to, I feel like it's also a need for me to familiarize myself so I can have etiquette, proper etiquette for our set etiquette, for our etiquette being around um, maybe an environment that's largely female, maybe an environment that's largely makeup artists or hairstylists. I just feel like um, the best way is to sit there, watch you guys learn and learn the culture and just learn different nuances of uh, the way you guys interact, you know? Hypothetical. You're uh, a department head on a show. Okay. okay? You build your team. Some of the team you build you know, some that you don't. What do you wish that your team knew about you before they walk into your space? Um, I want a, I want a fun, funny environment. Like I want us to, I want us to smile. I want to like, like I want, I want to see smiles on people's faces. Um, I want to get the job done in a professional manner. And I want um, everybody to, like, like piggybacking on what you said is that everybody in here is human. Um, you know, we got lives outside of this, you know, so we need to be sensitive of that too mm -hmm. while we're getting this job done. And wherever someone's maybe weekend, you can 
whole, you know, it's a team. We have to move as a team. So wherever there's weakness, we just take care of that. Yeah, because your role is so specialized, it, it makes me want to know what you think it means to be an artist. To be an artist, um, like, to be a, I don't know, like, I, I, I see, like, artistry and everything. So, like, for me to be an artist, I think it's the way you tie your shoes. It's the way you get up out the bed. It's the way you approach different things, your perspective. I think being an artist is your perspective on life, your perspective on, your perspective on yourself, and your perspective on what you're doing. So to yeah. me, an artist, an artist is someone that can recognize that art's everywhere. What piece of you in yourself do you always take with you, no matter which set you go to? Um, my family, my family, my wife, my How kids, my mom, my dad. Um, I just feel like, I feel like I'm just, I represent like I represent my last name. I feel like I represent my last name um, more than my first name. In our space, in our hair and makeup family and world, what's something that you wish we could change about the way we interact with each other? I think saying hi and good morning. Mm -hmm. I think I think if you just say that, I think six hours later, if you say that might be your second time speaking to that person, I think it's all good. Is yeah. there something you wish that your counterparts like myself in makeup world or your hair family, is there something you wish we knew more about you and your space? Um, I think uh, that the hair and makeup trailer is not really a barber environment. You know, as no. far as like the way the chair is set up, the way the lighting is set up, the way the elbow space is set up, you know, um, and that there's gonna be hair, you know, spitting everywhere if you're doing like a full cut and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to get the little hair off. You know, we, you know, I try my best, you know, but I think um, just that, that environment, not really a barber environment, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, trying to make it happen, we're coming into, Back to what I was saying, we're coming to a whole nother culture, you know, and performing. So we're performing inside. We're, we're bringing another culture to the culture of hair and makeup training. But not even the energy of, oh, it's just a haircut or it's just a men's cut or a buzz cut or just buzzing. It's just not even have that type of thought process. Like, you know, at the end of the day, we're creating character. You know, we're maintaining continuity. And... When that actor looks in the mirror and he sees the character versus himself, that benefits the whole project. Uh huh. What do you want people to walk away from your team thinking about T? That um, hard worker. I'm a hard worker. I'm a team player, and um, I like efficiency. And for those of you who have never seen T's station set up, he sets his station up to be super efficient. You can yeah. see right down to where each tool is placed. So for yeah. sure. Totally off topic of everything from hair, makeup, and trailer. But aside from our world, who's your favorite department on set? It seems like, I think, I want to say uh, costume. Yeah, I want to say costume because you get to really create that character and really like clothes and like oh my god, match it up and yeah. and then and then it might be another scene you get to do it again and you just get to um, be excited. I say I say costume. Yeah, say that's costume. cool. Well, yeah. Thierry, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you um, for having. me. Appreciate you. I really, I really am so excited for the world to meet you, but I also think that um, barbering and barbers and master barbers are a world that 
my fellow makeup and hair crew really need to be looking at because let's be real it's not just a haircut and you guys are some beautiful craftsmen and artists it's a blessing <laughs> to know you and to work with you thank you thank Appreciate you so much. yeah thank you yeah.